it was an incredible amount of money. I, I, the, the Lego it just kept kind of creeping up on us, needing different parts and different sizes, and we would experiment and make some mistakes and have to throw out some broken pieces and come back. The interesting thing about engines is that we all have in our mind that the combustion engine is the only way, but there are many different types of engines, and a pneumatic engine, which this is, is the technology has been around a very long time. And Lego has a lot of flexible parts, and if you've got the imagination and the knowledge, you, you can put it together. It is quite an engineering feat, but it, the thing that's exciting for me is that it, it reminds people in the auto industry and in any industry that sometimes we, we forget the different forms of technology we can employ to do interesting things. And we chose Lego really as the example to open up people's minds because we know people love Lego so much. It's got a lot of energy and a lot of torque that goes into it. It's got four orbital engines with 256 pistons that move the drive shaft. It's in a single gear. We did it under safety controlled conditions, but I'd, but I'd have to say that at the end of the, uh, if there was ever a crash, it, I don't think there'd be much car left. Let's put it that way.